Hey, my name is William, and we're here at the Embedded Systems Lab of the University of Pennsylvania, and we'd like to show you our new project, Protodrive. Now, Protodrive is a uh, project to investigate energy scheduling and control on electric vehicles. So, what we have here is a small-scale model of the main components of an electric vehicle powertrain. So, this consists of an electric motor, a battery, we've also got a supercapacitor, and then we've got an additional electric motor which acts as part of a dynamometer to simu simulate the forces on the vehicle. Things like the force due to acceleration or the force of climbing a hill. We've also got an embed microprocessor which is used to run our control loop and our scheduling algorithms. Now we have three goals with this project. The first is to verify if we can actually simulate the, the hardware of a real electric car at the small scale. We want to run our scheduling algorithms on real hardware, but we don't want to have to go through the time and, and effort of actually building a real car and running them um, in the real world. The second is we want to investigate if there's a benefit of having both a battery and a supercapacitor as part of the powertrain. If you look at an urban drive cycle, it's a, very, it's a highly fluctuating load where you have current uh, being drawn from the battery as the vehicle accelerates, and then some of that being put back into the battery uh, during regenerative braking. Now batteries are great at storing energy, but they prefer not to have a high current going in and out, whereas a supercapacitor is the opposite. It's great at um, high power uh, current flow, but it cannot store um, a lot of energy. So the second part of this is just to investigate if we can come up with an energy management um, algorithm that um, reduces the current uh, on the battery. The last part is we want to see if we can make this algorithm more optimal by having knowledge of the path ahead. So we plan to bring in information from Google Maps such as the elevation data and the traffic and use this knowledge of the path ahead of the car to optimize our energy scheduling between the two devices. So we'll now run a quick demonstration to show how this uh, project works. So right now we're running the first 60 seconds of the um, United States urban driving cycle. And when the vehicle is accelerating, energy is coming out of the vehicle. So that's why we have a red arrow represent a representing a flow to the environment. But when you're decelerating, you actually get regenerative braking, which is represented by a green arrow going into the device. Now the control scheme we're using here is what we're calling the naive control scheme, which is basically the, the simplest control scheme. It basically says that if you're doing regenerative braking and the capacitor can accept a charge, then charge the supercapacitor. And if you're accelerating and there's charge in the supercapacitor, then you use the capacitor. But for all other times, uh, then we go to the battery.